Whatever the argument is, it's all over with. And so you who are young couples tonight, why don't you try to just let the Lord blot it out? Quit, 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 quit trying to get to the end of it. Quit bringing in witnesses to testify. <laughs> quit trying to prove your point. Blot it out! Amen. And then listen here, wash me, and he's able to do that, thoroughly from my iniquities, and cleanse me from my sin. Now here's the basis of God's action. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me, Against you and you only have I done this evil in your sight. That's the basis of God's actions to our requests. Is that when we stand up there and say, it was not Paul, it was not Jan, it was not Billy, it was not Sue. I acknowledge my transgression. I want to give you a word of advice on that. You don't have to acknowledge it to everybody you meet. Come on. Because a lot of people, all they want to do is hear, what did you do? Oh, yeah. And then they'll take you to the street. If you have a prayer partner, if you have somebody in whom you can confide, if you have a pastor that's a man of great reputation, and you feel like you want to talk it out, then go ahead. Mm -hmm. But I've come to tell you, you don't even have to do that. Oh, Jesus. There is one mediator mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between God and man. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes when we've messed up a whole lot, uh, 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 you know, uh, elder so-and-so prayer looks like it'll get through a little bit better. And, and, and you'll be watching television and you'll see me and you'll write me and say, Evie, he'll pray for me because you can really touch God. And Billy Graham, you know, you live next door to him. Uh, but, but, oh, you have a prayer privilege of your own. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. 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 Oh, you can come on in the room. Thank you. I never shall forget this. I never shall forget this. Uh, there were secret services and secret service and police and central intelligence agents and everybody around the office of President Kennedy. Do you remember? And uh, the possibility of somebody just walking into the president unannounced and unintroduced and what have you was kneel. If somebody, if I had walked up and said, I'm going in there, they would have said, stop. And if I had pro proceeded, they would have stopped me. Amen. So, so, so I don't care how big you are, you just couldn't walk in the president's office. But you remember when Kennedy was having his press conference and his little son just twaddled right on through the Secret Service, right on through the police, right on through the cameramen, and, and pulled on his daddy's coattail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's what you can do. That's what you can do. That's what you can do. I said, that's what you can do. God is holy. God is righteous and perfect. God has angels and archangels. God has his son at the right hand. And therefore, you, one of your problems is, how do I get to him? Just come on. Come on, come on. You are his child. You can just travel on through everybody and just walk up to the throne of God and say, have mercy on me, oh God. You have prayer privileges. Jesus. I don't want to discourage you. Call this number. Call any numbers. Now, don't call those folk where you have to send them money before they pray for you. Yeah. But just call. Call anybody. But don't you neglect and don't you forget you can go to him for yourself. And don't you forget when you get there, go ahead and tell him. Amen. Go ahead and tell him. I messed up. Go ahead and tell him, I acknowledge my transgression. And then go ahead and tell him to purge me, cleanse me, wash me, restore the joy of my salvation. Let me go out. So, so tonight, wherever you are and whatever condition you are in, 
I want you to have a believing session. You, the reason why you're down because you've been in a, an unbelieving session. Everything and everybody's against you. But I come to tell you out of the scripture, but more than that, I share my heart with you. I've been there. I, I, I know where you are. I've been there. And I, I, I've seen the lightning flash, and I know where you are. And don't fall for the tricks. Don't let him pull you off by yourself. Don't let him pull you away from the church. If you have really messed up, you ought to be on the front row Sunday. You ought to be right there saying, Lord, speak to me. Use my pastor to give me a word. And then somebody near you say, pray with me. And then go to God from his mercy side. Ask the Lord for mercy today and ask the Lord to blot out your transgression. Amen. Flesh it. Blot it out. Amen. Cast it in the sea of forgetfulness. And then acknowledge it. Go ahead and acknowledge it. And once you've acknowledged it, that's enough. That's enough. You don't have to get on no national television constantly talking about what you've done. God is faster than a computer. You can erase almost all of history just by pushing the wrong button on a computer. And you can erase all your past by saying, Mercy, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord. And begin to come on out, begin to come on out. If God uses you to testify, about your past and about your problems, go ahead, don't be ashamed. I've used my testimony to help a many person to come to Christ. I have not used it to let people just talk. But when, when I see somebody about to go down for the third time, I say, hey, buddy, let me tell you this before you go down. Come on, come on to Jesus. God did not create you for mess. You and Satan got into mess. And God will not forsake you because you have gotten into the mess you're in. God will deliver you. And even right now. And he'll do it out of the multitude of his mercy. Let me give you one, one illustration and I'm through. One illustration I'm through. I had a friend of mine who came to me once and I helped him. I had a friend of mine who came to me the second time and I helped him. I had a friend to come back the third time and I didn't answer the phone. I had a friend to come back to me the fourth time and I told my secretary I wasn't in for him because I just have a little. But God, God, you, you can't wear him out. You can't wear him out. At. I'm trying to help somebody tonight who thinks that because you're at the end of your road that God is at the end of his road with you. He's not. He hadn't even started showing you his mercy. And he'll do that now. I want you to bow your head right where you are. And I, want, I want you to believe tonight. Believe, believe that you, you've got to believe it now. You have to believe it. I'm not the only one talking. Satan is right there talking to you and pointing you out, but I did not come down here to lie. I did not come down here to be paid. I came down here to appeal to you that you can get deliverance from the mess that you find yourself in. The husband that I talked to a couple of days ago who you separated from your wife a year ago, you can get deliverance. You promised to come to church. Be at church Sunday. Be at church Sunday. Husbands and wives can come back together. Children can become reconciled with mothers and fathers. Church members can become reconciled one with another. Churches that are fighting and in court can become reconciled, but it's through the mercy of God. God will just have to say, let it be. And all I want to do is testify to you that God will say, let it be. He will blot it out. He will blot it out. Now with your heads bowed, believing, believing. I'd like for you to just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I have messed up. I have blown it. 
I don't see no hope nowhere. I don't know anybody I can go to. I come to you right now in the name of Jesus and I come believing and I'm asking that you will have mercy upon me according to your loving kindness and your tender mercy. I acknowledge my transgression. I acknowledge my sin. I acknowledge everything that you know about me. I agree that it's wrong. And I now, by your mercy, give it to you and ask that you blot it out. Wash me. Cleanse me. Use me. In the name of Jesus. An old shoe may not have any value. But a sinner or a Christian who will repent and ask for mercy, this may be the night that God will start using you like you have never been used before. Farmer, pastor, get on up and go to church. Yes. Ex-preacher, get on up and go to church. Yes. Ex-choir member, get on up and get in that choir. Ex-Sunday school worker, get on up and get Ex-witness, get on back to that Come on. Bible Come class. On. Yes. You ain't through. <clears throat> God has power to cleanse you. Amen. 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 Pastor, come on over and sit down just a minute. Let's say thanks to Pastor Hill. I, wanna, I know you've got to get on the freeway in a minute, but I, I want to ask you a, a, a final question or two. First of all, those of you that prayed with Pastor Hill, and Pastor, they're already calling, haven't even hardly said amen, and the phones are ringing, and people are calling in to receive Christ. I don't know, just vicariously I just feel old sin burdens just rolling away and people are seeing that there really is hope and help and mercy and I want to talk for just a minute about some of these old traditions that have planted in people's minds this idea that God is kind of like some kind of an old angry Orkin man, ready to Amen. hit him with the hammer just Amen. the minute they Amen. do something something wrong. There's there's a there's a little word here that I'm hearing over and over again in recent days yes. and weeks yes. that yes. the Holy Spirit evidently is wanting to get through yes. to the body out there and to yes. the sinners out there, and we're all sinners. But first of all, let's just welcome yes. Merle from Waterloo, Iowa, Praise 33 God. years of age. Praise Frederick God. from. Uh, Van Nuys, California, Lavon from Texas City, Texas, Peggy from Albany, Georgia, yes. Jane from Whittier, California, Colette from Kansas City, Kansas, Sandy from Paris, California, Bernadette from Binghamton, Binghamton, New York, yes. way, way up in New York, yes. Reuben yes. Uh, from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, Praise Patricia God. from L.A., and Praise Benton God. from Long Beach, California, and just so many people, and now the phones are just all busy. If you get yes. a busy signal, don't be discouraged. Just hang in there for a few minutes. Wait a few minutes. And if you just can't get through, there's an address on your screen. You can write to the, to the box office. Yes. But I have a feeling if you'll dial again, wait a few minutes, the, the, the lines will clear and you'll be able to get through. Yes. Pastor, what in the world? Where? I've got a theory I'm going to try on okay. you and it, it it may sound a little hard, mm -hmm. but there isn't a real church in the world that won't confess and admit that it's the pure grace of God that saves us. Amen. In other words, when we're in sin, we're lost, and when we come for the first time yes. to the cross, to the altar, we're baptized, we come into the body of Christ. Yes, yes, yes it's grace, it's yes. grace.